This is Larry the Barber Man, and I am at Barber Connect 2017. I've got the very rare opportunity of interviewing a barber not even of the age of 16 yet. His name is Liam Kennedy. He works at Baldy's Barbers. He's also the son of Baldy, the Andis ambassador. So I'm here today to find out Liam's story. Like I said, it's a rare opportunity. So Liam, you started from the age of 12. Yeah. Tell me how you, ex -start, you started at 12. What was you actually doing at the age of 12? Well, I was seeing Dad in the shop. He was working normally. And I was like, all right, I want to do what he's doing, be a barber. So I started off in the shop. I was just sweeping up, things like that. So it wasn't like the best, but you, you get to be in the shop, be in the environment, learn how to like take the banter or stuff like that in the shop. So yeah, you're getting in the environment from a young age and it was good, but it's just cleaning and stuff like that, so. Cleaning, sweeping up. Yeah, it's all the boring stuff. Stand on my shoulder. Yeah, watch, try learning, but at the age of 12, you don't really want to watch and learn. You like, you want to be doing stuff. Okay, now this is a very interesting question I'm about to ask yeah. Liam. And I would ask all 18 to 25 year olds that are apprentice to listen what happened next. So at um, you, your first haircut, at yeah. what age did you do your first I was haircut? 13 years old. So that's one year on after standing over the shoulder every Saturday yeah. and probably Friday night after school. Tell me about your very first haircut, what happened and how you got the opportunity to do that. So it was like a normal Saturday, I'm just cleaning in the shop and then we had a staff member who used to work for us and he was like, I need a trim. And all the staff were busy so they're like, no, nah, no, nah, like, we can't do it. So I was like, alright, I'll give it a go. Like obviously I expected him to say no and he's like, yeah. So I'm like, alright, oh, I've actually got to do this. So they like, told me what to do obviously, they taught me through it and I was just getting on with it how like, I thought I needed to do it. It came out good, it was skin fade, like, I was, but at that point, I was like, yeah, I want to be a barber. Like, before that, I was getting bored, I was like, I'm not sure if this is for me, because I'm just cleaning. As soon as I did that, that, like, motivated me, I was like, this is what I want to do. Okay, so what did you do your skin fade with? Was it with foils was using, or open blade? Didn't use foils, I used a open blade, I think it was a Andis fade, and US Pros. So I did it with that, I think it was like a two on top, and then skin fade. It, it was good. <laughs> you used, let me get this right, an Andis fade, that's the UK gold thing. Yep. Okay, well, what can I say that kind of speaks for itself, the education that you gained by just looking over your father's shoulder, because I can comfortably say that 25% of, there is only 25% of barbers that can use that particular clipper correctly without cutting or nipping people because they don't understand a surgical blade. So That's my favourite clipper. There you go, for a 15 year old to perform a skin fade with that clipper. That's Because that's the only, see, up until about maybe a year ago, that's the only clipper I used. I didn't know about the whole like bevel blade, surgical blade. I just used that because it, it was gold. I thought it was sick. So I was doing that every Thursday in the barbers I work at in Milton Keynes. I was just using that and then Dad goes, that's a, that's a flat blade, you need to start using an all-round clipper. So I'm like, all right, it's the only thing I need to, like, I know to use, because like how close it is and stuff like that. So then I started using the bevel blade and it was like different, but it does help. Okay, so yeah, I commend you just for that alone. So then after doing that first haircut, tell me what was next, what happened? Did um, they let you come straight on or did no. you have to go back to... I went to, back to cleaning, stuff like that, because it's hard to get models like, People see a 12, 13 year old kid, they don't want to get their hair cut by him. So I'm still there cleaning and stuff like that. And then at school, they let me have every Thursday off to go and work at a barber's in Milton Keynes called Illuminate Barbershop, along with Chris and Taz. So they let me get in friends from my school, cut their hair. So that helped me get the practice. So that made me better. And then dad was like, okay, let's do a couple of cuts at the shop. He got me on the head, cutting the block. And he's like, right, we're going to put you on the shop floor. So at that stage, I'm like, oh, crap, this is like the real thing. So I started doing that, and oh, it, was, it was amazing. I, lo I loved it. So then after that, yeah, I just carried on cutting every Saturday, just saying who's next. At first, I'd start off going, like, guys, I'm the apprentice, blah, blah, blah. Then Jim, uh, I'm his apprentice. He was like, look, they're, they're good quality haircuts. You can just be like, who's next? So I started doing that and carried it on. 
So if you come across a haircut with your gained experience that you haven't been able to do, or you've basically um, been given all of them a go? I'd be, uh, so I had a long-haired guy, but I had down to about here, and I, I wasn't comfortable with long hair. So he sat in my chair and he was like, can you do it? So obviously I'm not going to be like, no, nah, mate, I can't do that. Mate, that makes me feel bad. So I was like, do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do this. So I, I, I did it. I thought in my head, like, because I've seen people do it, so and it, it went well. So I was like, all right, so I'll just give anything a go. Like, the hair grows back. <laughs> if it goes bad, it's going to grow back. And you're only under six. You're under sixteen. So yeah. Can... If it's a bad haircut, you've got that bad haircut for about two weeks. It grows back. Okay. So you say that you absolutely love barbering. You're fifteen. You're still at school. What's going to happen when you're sixteen and you're in a position where you can leave school? Um, so I've still got another year left at school. As soon as I leave school, I've got to go get my MVQ at college because I'm still not qualified. So I'll go get that and then crack on in the shop weekly. So just to show your commitment to barbering, outside of working in the shop, you've set up your own group, which is a young barbers group called the Next Gen Barber. Tell me a little bit about the Next Gen Barber and who could benefit by being affiliated yep. to this group. <clears throat> so basically, so I'm, I want to find kids in my situation, like young, around like the age of 15 to 18, like coming up, upcoming barbers have got mad, like good skills. So I noticed a few on social media, there's a Richmond Perez, who's Kieran the Barber's Apprentice. There's Matty O'Brien, Ryan Cullen's Apprentice. And then we got Amir Stapleton, and they're all banging barbers. So I was like, right, let's do something with this. So I messaged them all. I was like, look, I want to put together this group. What's your ideas? They were like, yeah, I'm down. So we set up a page, started shouting it out. That's starting to blow up. Um, so yeah, we're just showcasing each other's work at the moment and then when we all meet up at a show we're going to try and do some work and see where it can take us. Okay, well talking about shows, yep. you wasn't just walking around the show today, you was actually on a stand, you was on a stand that belongs to Sid Sitong called yep. Lock, Stock and Barrel. You're actually an artistic ambassador, yes, young so artistic ambassador. Tell me about your role. Uh, it's a youth artistic team that's starting to be put together and so he contacted Baldies saying like um, wanting us to do their products stuff like that dad was like um, I can't do it because he's already in with other companies so he's like they're like who else you got so he put me and Tom Pipkin forward so we went and tried out at Bob UK did my first cut in at a show that went well and then so he's asked me to come back for Bob UK uh, Bob Connect so I was doing that today and yeah, I love cutting at shows and stuff. It's, it's what I want to do. Okay. And where do you see yourself 15, when you're maybe Jack's age at 25, where do you see yourself being? I don't know. Uh, I've always said my dream is to not work in a barbershop. Like, I want to travel, I want to be teaching, stuff like that. I just don't want to be stuck in the same shop day in, day out. Okay, but you're going to need to do that at the very yeah, beginning. Yeah, it's going to take time, but that's what I want to do. So you want to be an international educator, yeah. I guess pretty much like your dad, but you don't want the shop yeah. uh, weighing you down. So you're just yeah, going to be yeah. your toolkit and what's in the top of your head, yeah. which is your knowledge and experience. Mm. Cool. Liam, what would you say to someone that was younger than 16 that wanted to get into barbering? Um, literally just, if you like it, watch videos, go to shops, keep on learning. Uh, social media, social media can help you so much. If you keep on putting your work out there every time you do something new, then that's the way forward. Like, my social media's blown up loads recently, and that's helping me like meet people. Like I was at the show today, I had some people come up to me and go, "Yo, Liam, I, I didn't know who they were, but I was like, yo." So we started talking, and networking. And it was it was good. So use social media; that can help you a lot. And how can they connect with you on uh, Instagram, as an example? Um, any, anyone can message me. My Instagram's the Liam Kenny. So if you're a young upcoming bubble, I've had a few message me like to, wanting to talk, I like advice. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm open to all that. There you go. So Liam is happy to help anyone that's younger than 16 or older than 16. Anyone. Anyone. Just message him, DM. He's down. Yeah. Liam Kenny, thank you very much for sharing your experience as a young barber. I know. You know, if you're 15 and you're doing what you're doing and you're sacrificing going out playing football on a Saturday to do barbering and work in your dad's shop, only great things are going to come for you in the I future. Appreciate that. 
So continue doing what you're doing. Sick. Thank you.